Hi friends, in our time together today, I'm going to introduce another scale exercise. Uh, I'm following my very inventive <laughs> naming pattern. Uh, this one I'm calling scale exercise three in D and G. And that is, uh, we're gonna go through the same exercise as much as possible as the notes will permit us in D and G. G, beginning on each of those notes. And I'll walk us through each of the exercises. I'll stand so you can see my hands. I'll provide a download so that you could download the uh, music and tabs if you use those. And after I walk us through the exercises, it'll be uh, a good opportunity for me to, to remind us of some of the values that these exercises bring for us. So this one um, is going to provide us with some interesting opportunities because we start on a note and then you jump up four notes. You walk back down three, jump four, walk down three, and then when you get to the top, we're going to start on a note, going to go down four, walk back up three, uh, so it'll be fun. You'll, it'll make sense as I play it. So uh, let me walk through the first one for us. This is uh, scale exercise three, uh, as I'm calling it, uh, in D. Okay, I hope that's straightforward enough for you. I think once you get that pattern uh, going, you're gonna be okay. And so in that first half, you're going through the pattern um, of all the way up until you land on the second octave D, then you're following the similar pattern, but a little backwards, so uh, to go up, down. Good exercise for us. Now the second exercise in the key of G, a couple things to note here. Uh, well, they're both about the C natural. So the C natural is in the key of G. Um, I'll put a link to the fingering chart down in the notes just to make sure that you remember particularly with regard to the second octave C. So the first octave C natural, you're going to play either, depending upon your whistle um, and how you play, you're gonna either play the second and third holes covered, the second hole covered, the second, third, fourth, and sixth holes covered, second, third, fourth holes covered, or you can half hole the first hole. Remember that means take part of your finger off. To play the second octave C natural, your honestly only viable option is to half hole the top hole. So like you're playing a B and then you take your finger halfway off and you're gonna feel the, uh, the C natural show up there. So scale exercise number three in G.
That was funny. I, you catch me looking for the C sharp, C natural there? Ah, uh, there it was. Um, so I kind of uh, slid my way into it. <laughs> That's why this is such a good exercise for us. Uh, a couple of things to note. That four note jump. Is not the easiest thing to capture good intonation. So what you might want to do is a little heavier breath of air. Or tongue it lightly. Or throw an ornament in. Okay? And it'll be a little easier for you. But a great opportunity to work on intonation. But what these exercises are really doing for us is that they're creating muscle memory in our fingers, in our brains, in our ears. So uh, the ability to just walk through these notes, you're creating patterns of notes within the key that most of the tunes we play on our D whistles uh, the, are written in. And so you're gonna become much more familiar with uh, the flow of the notes. And that's why these exercises are so very important. Working through these will make playing tunes and acquiring them easier because your fingers will have a sense of what to do. A couple other things you could do with these, you could use them for speed rolls. Remember I said, play at a steady pace that you can play well. And once you get that, try and pick it up. And if you can play it well at that pace, play it, make sure you can play it well a few times at that pace. Then you can try and play it a little faster at that pace. So um, excellent for speed drills. Excellent for breathing. Uh, choose when to breathe. See how that's very sequential and flowing? You're going to have to learn to grab a breath. So teach yourself when to grab a breath. Teach yourself to grab a breath that accentuates something. Um, you could also use this for long notes, as I've said before. gentle flow of your notes. Um, you can work on changing up the rhythms a little bit. You can throw ornaments in. You can mess around with these, but basically go through the drills as they are, as I've created them first. Uh, that will really helpful, help you. Uh, so these are, these exercises are just so, so helpful for us. Please use them. Share them with your friends who are learning to play. I hope this is beneficial. And each week, I'm creating a new exercise set for us, and I hope you're finding them helpful. Until then, this is Scott Shade. Happy Lodi Whistling, my friends. <laughs>